So today, to start off our lesson, we are going to read a book together called The Dot. Have any of you ever heard of this book? The Dot. Let's see. The Dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. An empty paper in art class? Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. I know some of us have felt like that sometimes, huh? Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. I think she's a little upset. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. That's what the teacher said. Look, there's the dot right there. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Look at that. I would love to have my art in that. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Ooh, look at those watercolors. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Good job because blue and yellow make green. You're so smart. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in so many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Check that out. Wow, now that's a cool idea. Look at all this artwork. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. It's like she had a whole art museum just for her dots. That's cool. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. What's gonna happen? I'm so excited. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, please sign it. Just like her art teacher, huh? <gasps> what? The end. Oh, did 
dedicated to Mr. Matson, my seventh grade math teacher who dared me to quote, make a mark. And that is the dot. So now that we've read the dot, we can start our project. All right, let's go. Hi friends. All right, so now that we've read the dot together, we are going to do some art and this art is called water resist art. So I'm really excited. So what you're gonna need today are your crayons, some white paper, your watercolors. Mine might look a little different than yours. They're just more compact. But you're gonna need black watercolor, a paintbrush, and some good old water. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, hey purple, the first thing we're going to do is draw a dot just like the story. So when we're drawing together today with the crayons, I want you to make sure that you're coloring pretty hard and you're pressing down pretty hard, okay? Not too light or it won't work. So to me, this red dot right here, hmm. I say it looks like Mars, what do you think? So let's go with a space theme. So now your space can look however you want. You know, if you want to put your planets in order, you go right ahead. If you just want to, you know, go around and make some extra planets and uh, make ooh, a lot of shooting stars, let's aim for that. So the next planet I'm going to do is Earth because, I mean, come on, it's cool. We live here. Don't forget to push down hard and make sure it looks like space. Outer space would be so cool because you float around with zero gravity, which means I wouldn't even need my wheelchair. How cool is that? All right, let's give the earth some water, of course. Of course, of course. So as you're drawing and you're pressing down hard, I want you to think of all the cool things there are about outer space, like the planets, no gravity, black holes, Whoa, I mean, Milky Ways, how cool. All right, let's see, you know what I like? I like Saturn a lot. I'm gonna draw Saturn real quick. Hmm, what color do you think Saturn's ring is? Maybe like a yellow? Yeah. Remember, yours does not have to look like mine at all, okay? Don't forget that. I want yours to be unique to you. So we're coloring this in. You know, the best part about quarantine is that I get to hang out with you guys and do art. It's my favorite time of day. And I love being here with you and sharing these fun things. Make this look a little more round. All right, and you know what? Let's do a shooting star. Uh, let's go over here. Remember, stars have five points. And since it's shooting, it's definitely gonna need a tail. So let's do, let's see. And then a little bit of purple, because why not? And a little bit more pink. Color that in. Try to not leave an, any white, okay? Really try to color it in. That's like the fun part. Ooh, my hand's getting tired. I bet your hand's getting tired too. Coloring it in dark is a little bit hard. Woo! Broke my crayon. All right, let's add a couple extra stars in here. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna draw five stars. You can draw as many as you want because it's your outer space. So you're gonna go ahead and do that. And then here's gonna be the super fun part of you ready. So what I want you to do is grab your paintbrush and your water and we're going to use your black watercolor and you, my friend, 
are going to get to just paint all the way over it. What? So this is why we call it water resist because the water paints resist the oil in the crayons and you can paint over it without having to worry about messing up your beautiful artwork. Now, if yours is anything like mine and there's a few little paint dots on your work, what I want you to do is grab a paper towel and you're just going to lightly dab it off, right? Lightly dab it, lightly dab it, just so that there's none on it at all. And there you go, my friends. That is a water resist paint technique all based off of our one dot, just like in the story. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. If you do space, let me see it, take a picture. And if you do something totally different, let me see and take a picture because you guys truly inspire me every day. So I hope you're having a good time and let me see your fabulous artwork. I miss you guys so much and I hope you're doing fabulous. Bye.